Welcome back to the Paradise Pokemon Vanguard. In the last episode, I don't really remember what we did, but make sure to check out that last episode. In this episode, we're going to try to make our way to the cave that we supposedly have to go, and go from there. That's just plain rude, my dude. That's gonna do like nothing. I'm trying to do maybe one or two episodes of this just so I have enough to hold me over until I record again. But we'll see, we'll see. Defense, that's not good. And I miss. What else is new with this trash? to do that. So we came through there. Aha! Found it. What's up, guys? Oh, that's a Pokemon. Yes. Oh, right. <clears throat> Hi, is anyone home? Maybe try knocking on the door? Wait. Is it just me, or is everything getting brighter? You're right. It's getting really hard to sit. The hell is the matter with you? Everything looks normal to me. No, this definitely isn't normal. Crap. What do we do? Hey, calm down. I don't see any lights. 
quick, Destiny, grab my hand. What? So we don't get lost in the light. What? I can't see you. No way. It's too late. Huh? You should. Where the hell'd they go? So. Why is it? No. no. Wait, I can't breathe. Cool Pokemon here? Nope, no encounters. Ooh, was not expecting that. Damn it, music though. Nice. It's gonna do nothing. Guess we don't want to go that way. We want to go. Not that way either. We want to go this way. Hi, tree. I'm gonna guess these were once Pokemon or Pokemon of trainers. Well, that was just plain rude, my dude. Plain rude. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, I like this music. Hey, Destiny. Destiny? She's standing, but I don't think she's awake. Gotta find a way to wake her up. We finally set up. Oof. That is definitely unfortunate. You really like cursing me, huh? Keep cursing me. That is fine. I don't know if you have to take all of these tree bands down. Uh, gotta do what you gotta do to save a friend. Nice. 
decorate. Thanks. No. Oh, I had to take all the... I was right. Destiny. That's it. The Pokemon gives us a similar vibe to the one Destiny and I fought in Helix. Another one. <sighs> Fine. Whoever or whatever's behind this, I'll play your little game. Bring it on. Hey, these things are a pain in the butt. One down. Oh. I 
get it now. These two to the right left of me are fake. Well, aren't you a clever one? <laughs> huh? How would you get the behind us? What? Yeah, you were both just at the door. Both. Destiny, fire. Oh, thank God. I thought I would never be able to wake up, wake you up. Wait, but you're up. Uh... And then there's these weird Pokemon. Did, did you say I was asleep? What is happening? Destiny, Amaria. Please tell me every, something every... Please tell me this is something everyone can see. Greetings. My name is Hotoru. Hotoru Amare. Wait, are you... My sister? No. But we are related, some way or another. I am surprised, but also glad that I have found you. I lived most of my life believing that you suffered from paralysis. Paralysis? That makes no sense. Destiny is clearly walking. I know, it makes little sense to me as well. But I won't dwell on it. So, can you tell me anything about my family? I can tell you what I know. I... Actually, I have to ask. Do you trust these people around you? Yes, without a doubt. Alright, ask away. My father, who was he? I can't say for sure. I was still young when you were born. So I will tell you what I do know. Jackson Amaria, he was my caretaker since my mother passed away. My oldest memory of him was the way he smiled when he was with Jackie. When I was six years old, six years old, your mother gave birth to you. A beautiful baby girl, born with full body paralysis. There it is again. You would never be able to speak, walk, or care for yourself in any way. Despite that, your mother still loved you. She pledged to care for you for your entire life. Your father, on the other hand, wanted to get rid of you. He said you should be put in a home for people with similar disabilities. The fighting grew worse over the next few months until Jackie gave your father an ultimatum. Love my daughter or as she is, or you will never see me again. That was the last day I saw your mother. Lying to me, joining the defiance, all the terrible things my mother did. I wanted to hate her for it, but she was just doing it all for me. To save me. To protect me. My father was a real a-hole. <laughs> Sorry, what happened to him after that? He was very quiet for the next few years. I think he was living in constant regret, but not one he was willing to admit to. When I turned 10, he began teaching me how to use Pokemon, as well as our family's history. Those were the only times he spoke to me, so I guess I did enjoy them. The day I turned 13, he told me he taught me everything I needed to survive on my own. Then, I never saw him again. Sometimes, I really wish I followed him. I'm sure you have more questions, but the sun will be setting soon. First, I'd like to battle. It's been a while since I fought a strong trainer. Could I battle you? I would love to battle you. But I'm not up to my full strength right now. So why don't we save ours for tomorrow? Fire, if you could please join me across the bridge to our right. Alright. Ew. I think that's a good spot to wrap up this episode. The next episode, we'll see what else she wants to tell us. And see if we learn anything, too. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section. With that being all said, I will see you guys all in the next episode.